Shadi, I'm now exactly out of Great Sarkar region. Vanessa Kwanza, Western region. Jennifer Asante, Ashanti region. <laughs> Michelle Akuya, Urenchi, Ashanti region. representing the greater Accra region. Infections contribute to diseases in Ghana as well. And also notice that individuals do not have, individuals do not know the proper, proper hand washing method. So I would like to introduce the proper hand washing method in Ghana by teaching them the various stuff so they can do it well, thereby preventing infections and diseases in Ghana. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number three. You may take the lead. Hi, princess. I feel like calling this lady on stage. Hi, baby. You are looking <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Judge number four. Lovely. Thank you very much. So if the title of Miss USA Ghana was bestowed on you this evening and you were being interviewed about security issues in Africa, how would your comments on Boko Haram be? Thank you very much. I am very passionate about women's rights in Africa. My answer would be, you have to educate yourself about what's truly going on in the African region. You have to educate yourself about the tribe, what motivates their actions, what motivates what they do, and dig down deeper and not look at the surface level. Joining back bandwagon hashtags don't bring about change. Going deep into the root issue and finding out why they're doing that. You can really understand what's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Beauty can say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Um, I'd, I'd like to know if there was someone living or deceased that you could have an evening with, who would it be and why? If I could have an evening with anyone in this world, it would have to be my grandmother, who is currently in Ghana at the moment. Um, she is definitely a knowledgeable woman. She's a woman of substance. She's loving, caring, and I admire her. And any second I can get to spend with her, I truly would take advantage of that because I feel as though she instills the importance of striving for greatness and um, using my talents to grace this earth. So if I could meet with anyone on this earth, it would be my grandmother because I know that she would um, just grace me and infuse me with the knowledge that she has so that I can in return make a difference in other people's lives. Thank you. I'm doing fabulous. <laughs> Man, you look great in your blue black hair. Oh my God. <laughs> Judge number that. Right. Um, so my question is, if you were not Ghanaian, what nationality would you be and why? If I was not Ghanaian, I would be global. I would be I would 
be global because diversity is everything. Yes. Diversity is everything in our schools. Diversity is everything in our jobs. And even as we sit here today, we have fun mixing with each other from different countries. So, if the world will be a better place, then I guess I would be global because I would make a change and everybody will respect each other, would play with each other, would school with each other, and nobody will be frowned upon. This is what I'll be. Representing both the United States and Ghana if crowned the winner of this pageant. What do you propose to do to bridge the gap between the two cultures and societies? Miss Ghana USA is a wonderful opportunity to bridge two cultures. I myself am a Ghanaian American and if crowned as Miss Ghana USA, I would hope to inspire other Ghanaians who are born in America to be proud of their culture, to be outspoken about their history, and to enlighten everyone about the wonderful culture and rich history that Ghana has. Ghana is one of a place that we should be proud of. Thank you. Mami Akria, how are you doing? Good, how are you? You're looking good in your green landscape. <laughs> Beautiful. The first thing I would tell them would be not to listen to the numerous voices that keep going on. Um, when leading, you're always going to have opposition, regardless of the situation, whether you're doing good or bad. I would advise him to stick to his plan, because I believe in anything you do, you need a certain amount of energy and persistence to achieve results. And so that would be my advice to him. Thank you. Thank you. You will for the good. <laughs> my question is please comment on the issue of brain draining in Africa and what do you propose? You know, what do you what solution do you propose? So brain draining in Africa and what solution? For me, um, I feel as though Africa definitely has a lot of uh, potential. And there are some things that we do that not, are not necessarily progressive for the continent. I definitely am opposed to it. And I feel as though just when it comes to the brain in general, we should rather focus on stimulating the brain rather than draining it. And this is by looking at ourselves as people, tapping into our potential and the skills that we already have, and then using it to better our content. I am someone who definitely believes that Africa has all of the resources, skill, and potential that it needs to prosper. And so instead of brain draining, we can stimulate the brain among young adults. That is what I believe. As I said earlier on, I know the ladies are looking at up to the apps. Africa wear a brand, one brand, and you were a CEO. What are three things you do to change it or to improve it? To improve Africa? Well, one thing I would do is to improve the telecommunication that we have in Africa because I believe that that is the way to spread the information that we have throughout the world and what we have available so that everyone knows that we have it. Another thing I would like to improve is the way things are set up within the infrastructure between managers and the way supervisors and people within the company connect with each other and communicate with each other because I think that's very important. If you want any company or business to succeed, there has to be excellent communication. Another thing I would want to do is get constant feedback because I think in order to improve yourself, you always have to have input from everyone that you work with in order to make sure that you're on the right path and everything is going well. So those are three things that I would really focus on to improve. You are too much. You be too much. Judge number two. She's too
too much. I think is the greatest issue that the U.S. is facing right now, and how would you change it? Honestly, the greatest issue that we're facing in the U.S. right now is allowing our young children to be inspired by others. There are not a lot of programs out there that help you and coach you to become who you need to become. Patient is key. And so through my mentoring program, I want to ensure that they get the resources that they need. Because for me, when I first started going to school here, I felt like I didn't have anyone who I can relate to. So this mentorship program really helps them relate to someone they can look up to and say, you know what, if I need advice, I can come to you and say, please help me. So that's one thing I would change about um, the, the issues in the United States. Thank you. Beautiful African way. Simple, straight way. <laughs> Would you? How you doing? So my question is, name one iconic African woman who inspires you, and why? Iconic um, African woman, what I would say, is Yaa Santua. And I know we hear about her all the time, and you know, many women look up to her. But for me, it's about her that she was able to step outside of her comfort zone. She was able to be an example for other women, tell them that, hey, I can do the same thing as men can do. And that's my big thing that I want to do for Miss Ghana USA. I want to show women that it isn't just about your beauty. It's about your intelligence, your confidence, and your determination, and how you can use that to make a difference. Because in my eyes, the most beautiful people are the people that inspired me. Thank you. All of our beautiful ladies are going to go out of the competition. Opinion. I don't know. I'm still waiting for my judges. So this is your judge. Just on number Thank you.